dva, jedna, go, go. Skiing for visually impaired athletes is not a lot different to normal skiing. The only difference is that we have a guide. In my case, that's Miguel. And the piece used is naturally matched to the level of impairment. The jumps are limited because it's really hard for the eyes to do the jumps if they don't see. The speed is not as fast as with the able body because the track is a little bit more easier but that would be maybe the main difference between the able body and the disabled skier. In our sport we go to different places where the snow is different, the terrain is different so that's what makes our sport difficult and in visually impaired there's a B1 who is completely blind. There's a B2 that is semi-impaired and B3 only has a little impairment. It's very important for the guy to stay in contact with the athlete. If they lose touch, the athlete loses confidence. We therefore have a wireless connection via Bluetooth. <laughs> that lets us stay in permanent communication. During the descent, I get his instructions over the radio about what I have to know. For example, the gate sequence, rhythm or change in terrain, fast and slow turns. Diferencias en el terreno, zonas más rápidas, curvas más cerradas. I try as far as I can to follow my guide's commands. She gives me all the information I need. What I discuss with him relates only to the gap between us, and what he says to me relates only to the line of descent. And I really talk a lot. He has to trust me 100%, because he has to be able to rely on everything I tell him, or it won't work. The gap between athlete and guide is stipulated in the rules. During the descent, we mustn't be more than one gate apart, otherwise you get disqualified. In the slalom disciplines, it's not more than two gates. And if the athlete has a fall, the guide is not allowed to help them. If you can imagine going down a slope, blindfolded, it's hard enough skiing when you're able-bodied, but if you're doing it either blindfolded... Yeah! So we try to do as much training as possible. Exactly. An important competition like Sochi increases everything. More people, higher profile. You have to be even more focused. You have to mentally prepare for all of that. Otherwise, at such a big event, it can be simply overwhelming. Winner and gold medal on women visually buried, Czechoslovakia, Henrietta Falkashova and Natalia Sumertova.